I am too. But what if I told you being tired was a good thing when you're a sleeping giant and needing a moment to breathe is necessary when you breathe life into this country? What if I told you there was a win just on the other side of tomorrow? Would you give up then? What if I told you you were the heartbeat of this country? Always have been, always will be the most powerful thing it never created. What would you do? How would you feel? Would you feel how much you are loved? Would you feel how much you are feared? Or would you realize you've faced more than this already and you've won every time? That's a snippet of an ad by the newly launched hybrid PAC, Rolling Sea Action Fund. The PAC supports the Congressional Black Caucus. Its goal is to mobilize black voters ahead of the 2024 election in an effort to flip the House back to a Democratic majority. Joining us now, Rolling Sea Action Fund Executive Director Nikara Campbell-Wallace. She's the former political director for the Congressional Black caucus pack and it's good to have you we saw the ad talk more if you could about what the strategy is to make that a reality well thank you so much for having me here today and so rolling sea action fund is my love letter to black voters it is really making sure that we understand that black voters are the cornerstone of the democratic party but also champions of american democracy and when black voters turn out you know, democracy wins. And so for everyone who's watching us back home, please check us out on rollingc.org. So, uh, Nakar, that, that's a, you know, that's a great ad, and then it's very moving and inspirational. It's, it's sort of different for political ads. It's <laughs> yes. usually taking it, trying to take a different approach. There's a lot of Democrats that are concerned about drop-off in uh, support for Biden among black voters, drop-off in support for Republicans generally, numbers for Trump and, uh, inching up in the African-American community. Talk about what you think that's, uh, you know, why that's happening and what you all are going to try to do to combat that in 24. For sure. You know, black voters, when you talk to them frequently, often and early, they turn out in droves. We turn out 80 to black 90 women, percent. Black, black women. Black women. Black women are the best voters in America, right? The Super most heroes. consistent yes. voters in America for yes. either party. Yeah. Yes. And so we're going to make sure that we're talking to them early, frequently, with this always on engagement strategy, targeting districts that have a, about 8% or more black voting age population, because we know that when when we when black america wins america wins Nicar, is there any um, geographical focus to this effort uh it, you know are you, are you focusing on the on the big metros um in philadelphia atlanta where's the focus where black people are, we're talking to them. So that means rural voters, that means urban voters. We know that black people are not a monolith. And so I'm a product of that. My family's from Texas, my mom's from Baltimore, you know, my family's from everywhere. So we're gonna make sure we're talking to black people in the Midwest, the South, the North, everywhere. <laughs> Nikara, good morning. It's great to have you on the show. I'm curious. I know just like every other voter in the country, it's the economy for black voters and how that's going. And things do seem to be getting better. Inflation, we got a, a good number last week for the country that's down. But what else beyond the economy do you feel like black voters are focused on as they head into the, into the voting booth next year? I think that we're focused on voting rights. We're focused on this extreme Supreme Court that has now attacked affirmative action. They have attacked everything about us. And so now we know we have to fight like hell to make sure that we protect American democracy. All right, Rolling Sea Action Fund Executive Director Nakara Campbell-Wallace, thank you very much for being on this morning. We'll be following every step of the way.